<laughs> of course, we got Light and T coming up to the stage. Of course, Light sponsored by Rogue. Shout out to Rogue. And man, that jersey looking clean, man. Looking a little patriotic. Yeah, it is very, looking very, very patriotic. But I'm waiting for the, our man Light to roll up his sleeves. Ooh. Because that is the backwards hat. That is the rally cap of Light. So fun fact, um, Light loves to use headsets because the most important thing about it is he, he wants to hear sound. Yes. And he keeps his hair back. It keeps his hair back. <laughs> I he, can he can't, see that. You can't be using you can't be playing Smash with the hair all up in your eyes, man. Yo. You, can't, you gotta you gotta see the game, man. And you got a headband that can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Fox versus Pac-Man. This matchup was atrocious in the last game, but uh one character got downgraded and the other got upgraded. And uh <laughs> Yeah, Pac-Man was definitely the one that got upgraded. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh getting man. both hits, the key and the fire I do. But I definitely feel like Fox still can be a character that, just based off of archetype, is a character that can give Pac-Man a lot of trouble. Fox has the speed. He has the quick hitboxes. He has one of the best dash attacks in the game. He can be up in your face. And guess what Light loves to do? He loves to stay right up in your grill and keep the pressure coming. One thing I love about Light is that he is a man of aggression. He will just run at you for days. Hit boxes. Oh, tried to get the tech chase, but wow, the forward smash coming out from T, and you just see that, the reposition backwards. He knows that Light wanted to fall into him with an aerial, just fade back, forward smash, and that's going to counteract that, and it's going to get that first off there. That dash attack going to beat out the charging of the fruit. You're going to see the pellet make it back to the ledge. Another dash attack. Oh, wow, that dash attack anti-aired Light. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Okay, falling there, but T was ready for it, but still trying to retaliate with it down till so does not find it now. Okay, what's the situation gonna be? Forward air putting Fox off stage. Now Fox oh. still has a lot of weaknesses off stage, and that bouncing fruit has you know, anything to say with it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some type of cherry or fruit set up from T. Yeah. Um, wow, light getting a little feisty here for this kill. Wants the up smash, but that is definitely something he's known for is nailing the setups or nailing these raw up smash. Right there, we see the classic, the Naren up smash. Why, Ooh. Why? Why use something that's you know a classic? Classics are there for a reason. Oh man, Light returning to sender here with this shine. But where'd the bell go? He went straight up into the skies. <laughs> Got Rashido, man. Straight Rashido. Oh you know no! What? Light ate that boot. Oh man, and Light gonna go off to the side there, and now T it, with a very convincing lead here against Light, the best fox in the world. A lot of the best of the best here on the stage. Yeah, we we, we use that word a lot, huh? Best. Yeah, best. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, Light, one of the best, um, him and Mars, of course, repping that uh, New England. So, uh, Light, second highest ranking PGR player from New England. I mean, New England just in general, such a very, very strong region. You got a region that has two players in the top ten, <laughs> one of them being in top five, number three, Mars. Like, incredibly stacked region. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. That smash just covers so much, so much of a huge area. And as you see, another anti-air F smash from T. Yeah, I mean... That forward smash is surprising me time and time again, man. And I mean, we're, we're talking about New England being a strong region. Of course, Japan, a very strong country. Um, there's a lot of sub-regions in Japan, but just in general, that whole... Uh, I mean, I, I guess most people see Japan as a region, but, uh, but yeah, they're so strong, right? And, and they're definitely showing it here. I mean, four of them were in the uh, winner side of yes. top eight. So Team Japan. Japan is very, very strong, and they're definitely showing it here. T taking game one here versus Light. Okay, of course, Light with his counter pick, picking Paulos, place where uh, it's not really gonna give T much room to run away and uh, set up on platforms. These platforms are really far off his ledge. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's gonna essentially be like T can set up, but it's gonna be like more in the corner area, and that's where Fox loves to have his opponent. Like Fox is one of the best characters in the game, constantly pressuring you with that pesky back air and all the nares hitting your shield in the corner, and there's nowhere to run. That was crazy. So he was able to use the water from the hydrant to propel himself, extending the range of the grab. Light not ready for it. Oh yeah, and I mean, we we point out time and time again. There's so many tricks when it comes to T, man. He, he knows all these water properties, you know. And there's the stun, and there's another forward smash. He got stunned up at 70% and died. That's the power of the bell, and that is the power of Fox being lighter than Mewtwo. <laughs> Just saying, like, could be a little heavier. Not a Fox main, by the way. <laughs> no bias. Apparently. No bias, man. No bias, bro. <laughs> okay, well, taking his time, making it back to stage, even using a wall jump to try and throw Actually, off uh, light on these ledge, these ledge traps. Man. Ooh, why are you swinging on my shield? I got one of the best up smashes out of shield here, and that Fox up smash got buffed. 
in yeah. this game. It is uh, has a lot. Of, it's a lot laggier, but it's a lot larger. And just up smashes in general out of shield got quicker. So really good stuff for Fox here. Okay, well, it's oh, cool. Whoa. what? That hit, oh, oh, what was that interaction? Goodness. That was a lot of damage from what I saw. So much damage. Galaga into Hydrant into Galaga. I know, right? Like the tail end. Like you thought it was over. <laughs> <laughs> the Revenge of the Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but here's the Hydrant uh, Light trying to reflect it right back. And that's another thing that Fox has access to is that shine. So he's really quick, and he can reflect a lot of these projectiles that T is flying at Light back at him. But, I mean, T don't care about that because he's going to hit another forward smash. Oh, that red has he lost every stock to forward smash? I, was that his fifth forward smash that he hit? Dude, that was right, at least uh, his fourth. Uh, that was at least four, his fourth. Yeah. <laughs> Might might have been fifth. My man T is hitting them with uh, I, I wonder, is it random? You know, like the, the ghosts that come out on the smash attacks? No, I wonder if it's random. They're set. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know which one the red one's name, but yo, that one is putting in work. Oh, he's putting in work, and that must be T's best friend, because they are <laughs> homies right now. Oh, man, and T is looking strong on this game number two, but you're going to set up Hydrant. My up smash, I got the kicks. It'll go right through the Hydrant and kick the two. That's so smart because Hydrant does put T in an animation because he does pop himself up. <laughs> the Hydrant appears. That's enough time, apparently, for Light to run across stage and land that up smash. The kicking Light off stage and the we had the bell set up. Wow. Good directional yes. air dodge. That was really good. It avoided the <laughs> bell, but... Oh, he's alive! Okay. How much damage did he take? F smash plus Hydra? <laughs> yeah, he took a ton of damage. Tried to get the forward smash on the landing. Probably was a dash attack. Okay, trying to get the two frame with the F tilt. Whoa. The back air does connect. And we are 2 0 oh, And damn, that was the swiftness, man. Light. <laughs> kind of low-key rolling his eyes there. And, like, the game wasn't even, like, right as he got hit, Light was just already, like, doing the circling motion. Like, yeah, we're running it back. We're running it back. Yes, yes, we're running it back. Yes, yes, yes. Run Light likes to back. do everything quick. Run it back. <laughs> All right, so T is going to be up 2-0 here versus Light. We're not going to see a switch. I mean, there are some uh, options available for Light. We've got, we've seen his Joker come out this weekend. We've seen the Falco come out. Um, Falco, another character that is notorious for being great against projectile characters, but I don't know yeah, if it's going to be enough. Now that you mention it, I'm surprised that we don't see Falco coming out. We did see it earlier uh, yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. where he did, in fact, bring out the Falco, but maybe he just feels like he's able to rush down uh, T with Fox, and he's not going to have the same approach with Falco. I, I definitely feel like, oh wow, he like smash attacked the Hydrant, but he got pushed up in the water, like going up at the same time. But I feel like Light definitely knows that Fox has the tools to win this matchup. You have a shine, you are, you're quick, you can get up in his face. So I, I definitely know that Light is feeling that he has the tools, but he just has to quit getting F smash. Like, essentially, like, and the thing is, T's F smash isn't even that quick. Like, it's kind of quick, but like, He's just reading him really hard for these kills. So That's true. He has a lot. Oh, oh we went for the double bell setup. That, that was, was dirty, and you do not deserve that team. <laughs> <laughs> Going to get punished there. Uh, the up air will connect here for Light. And the, for the first time, Light with a lead here <laughs> against T. Okay, but the bell is oh, online, well. and let's just make quick work of that lead as the red ghost, nameless red ghost, coming back. Man, and you know oh, what? Hydrant? Okay, the reason. As long as you're not getting raw F smash. Like, if you're getting belled in the F smash, that's a lot more doable. Oh, frame trap here. Wow, Perry knowing, knowing that T wanted to swing right out of that. Oh, here's the Nair. The Nair is such a great tool for these ledge trap situations. Okay, but the fire hydrant is out and setting up uh, root on this platform. But oh, no. that shield was so small. Yeah, and that was unfortunate because Light was doing short hop up here to pressure um, T underneath, but the water pushed them off stage. So it actually put them in a bad position there. Kind of relieved a lot of that uh, pressure from the platform. Big brain plays coming Ooh. out from T. Big, big damage too. Okay, that forward smash does have some lag on it, so uh, he's gonna have to be careful. And if Light can start shielding some of these forward smashes or whip punishing them, he can get some up smashes. Oh, There's the, the shine! He sent it right back. Return to sender. And man, that was such a big play. And now, T oh, there it is again. And we pointed out earlier, right? The shine is going to be a great tool that because T is setting up everything off the projectiles. We see, we do see some of these raw forward smashes, but most of them are coming from the bell setups. Like, you know, the way I'm thinking about the, the, the approach that the bell does take, I don't think Falco is actually a good option to stop the bell from falling directly on him. Yeah. Double down tilt is going to take out that hydrant. Oh, and here comes the pressure. And now we see Light with some momentum. Ooh, man, I love the movement. I love the fake pressure there that Light was putting out <laughs> and just like burning away at the shield because he wasn't committing to anything. So that was just really, really good stuff from Light. Oh, going to catch the landing with the side B. Oh, in the back air at the ledge, but a quick oh. back throw. Great DI coming from Light. 
Okay, but is going to get the down air. And Light trying to go for the up smash on the respawn. Okay, wants to set up a Galaga combo, but Light maneuvering around it. Okay, taking his time, making it back to stage. T loves to run that timer as much as he can. Wow, and you, you know what I, I forgot to mention? I'm actually really surprised that T is doing this well versus Light because New England has a very good Pac-Man, Kiwi. Oh, you're right. So, I, wow, that's actually really surprising because I'm going to, like, not to throw any shade at any Pac-Man, but, like, most people go into, like, against Pac-Man and Tourney not knowing the matchup. So this is just T doing a really, really great job against Light. Okay, that's very smart, throwing out a back air onto T shield, expecting him to throw out an offensive option to yeah. try and break the what usually is the second back air to come at your shield. Um, and Light was ready to just parry the nair. Yeah. Wow, that was really good stuff coming out from Light. Pretty much a hard read on that swing down. And uh, I think, um, I, I'm not too sure if Kool-Aid still has a Pac-Man, um, but Kool-Aid used to play Pac-Man in Smash 4, so I'd assume he plays him in this game too. So I, I would I would think Light has like a very good amount of Pac-Man practice. Or experience, I should say. Mm -hmm. Well, putting one on the board for Light. It all starts with one. That's right. One hit, one game, can lead to one set. All right, so sticking out with the Fox here. See, oh, the sleeves are rolled up here oh, for Light. Here we go, the Super Saiyan Light. Rolled up sleeves is definitely try hard Light. I like the counter pick coming out from T. A lot of space, and especially this per first platform layout is extremely good for Pac-Man because that high platform is just such a great area to retreat to to set up your hydrant. You see that trap at the, at the under that platform right there? Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> When you see Pac-Man frame trapping characters, like to me that's crazy. Like especially like what the character did in Smash 4, and I'm just like watching T like get all these crazy combos and then frame trapping Fox of all characters, the frame trap master. It sounds like a balanced game to me. <laughs> <laughs> all things must come to the balance, man. And then, yeah, and then, I mean things have come full circle here in Ultimate, right? Mm -hmm. and of course, pairing, but that's a multi hit, so you gotta be very, you gotta be ready to parry the multi hit. Yeah, and multi hits are a counter to um. Parries that, oh, right there, just grabbing it. Wow, just throwing it right back at him, getting the back air damage, and Light going to keep it going here. Going to forward throw him right off stage. But, again, look at these platform layouts. Really helping out uh, T. Very kind of similar to Carlos of where the platform currently layout is, which I'm sure both players are very comfortable at by now. But whoa, whoa ooh, the that melon just disappeared. Yeah, that, that thing flew so fast. Th those water properties, man. How much uh, how much water pressure is in that fire <laughs> hydrant, bro? And that's a... Uh, that's a move a person, so it's got to be a lot. <laughs> oh, the back air cross stage. I, I feel like that has to have been bad DI. I. I know Pac-Man's back air can kill, but I know it's not like that strong. Okay, but maybe Fox is just that light. Maybe a little bit of both. But a Nair up smash is going to secure that kill. And we see double, triple, three, four. four. Oh, four no, not, not five. I'm kind of disappointed. Not all three of them either. He's uh, definitely playing favorites with those taunts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Pac-Man just going to nair right out of this combo here. Again, a nair out of shield. Light has to be very, very careful how he knocks on that shield, man. In that direction, it's going to be so bad for Light. Forced to recover oh, using no. the illusion and throwing the apple. Oh, Ooh. beautiful recovery coming out from Light. Utilizing those high platforms and firefoxing right to it and barely getting on top. The perfect distance for him to recover. It didn't. It looked like T wasn't even expecting him to land on that platform. I definitely felt like he was just doing the mix-up where you firefox and you just go straight to the ledge. But very, very tricky stuff. You know T was expecting that. Oh, wow. Hey, the downer. Just interrupt. Get that combo breaker out. But send wow. that fire hydrant into key back. That was so smart from Light because usually when you hit the hydrant first, it gives opp an opportunity for Pac-Man to hit it because you weakened it, right? And then he just comes and hits it back. But right there, Light just hitting it, baiting T to think like, oh, this is perfect time, and then just shining right in his face. Very smart. And then raw up smash. You saw the approach from T. He's like, it's, it's a kickflip son. Oh, wow, there is when when Dare actually works, usually that does not fully connect, but when it gets all the way to the last hit, you are able to get the down air, but Light throwing the Nair way too close to that platform and didn't connect on T, so T will go ahead and get that back throw kill. Well, it's, Light did go for like a very similar setup in a, that position earlier where he did pressure T shield and immediately went into jabs and it was able to put T off stage, and which allowed Light to really rack up more damage. Did you feel like he was going for like a similar setup? Yeah, and Light just did not get it. Yeah. Definitely, um, and that's where Fox can be strong. So you can't really blame him for going for like a corner pressure situation like that, but just more so T just playing phenomenal. There's the lasers coming out, the shine. Okay, ooh, does not tech on that platform. You're gonna eat an up air. And whoa, man, that forward air was very close to hitting. 
forward air was very cultivating, and so was the fire hydrant. Oh, I love the dare approach. Dare into up smash. Now T falling back another dare into up smash, but great DI is going to keep T in the game. Oh, man, I saw the Mario Kart DI coming out from T, man. He was like <laughs> leaning in with it. Oh, wait, He's but here's the Galaga gotta, combos. Got to put everything you have oh! into it. But a raw wow. F smash, not going to anti air when T needed it. And Korean, we have another game five situation. I thought Light was done for. I was like, you really botched that Nair? Like, that <laughs> Nair was your ticket. But then he had so much lag off that forward smash. And like you said, it didn't anti air him. T throwing out the forward smash a tad bit too early. And Light was able to squeeze in the up smash anyway. Punches to get a little bit pumped. late, but he arrived. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes when you're late to the party, sometimes it's just the thought that counts. Sometimes just showing face is all that matters. And that up smash showing face to the party is all that matters for Light because we're going to a game five situation. Light looking pretty good on this journey for his for the reverse 3-0 because he's got so much momentum on his side. And I love that he's landing with the down airs. He's throwing off the parry time coming in for T. And on these floatier characters, down smash in, or down air in up smash is still a thing. Very interesting. You saw T set up the set up the wall, and he just left it. He left the fire hydrant and started approaching light. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit flustered here. Maybe he feels like he has to be a little bit more aggressive. But there it is. There, there it is again. The hydrant, and like I said, time and time again, man. Like especially that last game, light just really utilized just coming down with the down air into the up smash and just going right over the hydrant, right? And you see that him doing it again. This time, just beating up the hydrant and reflecting the uh, projectiles as well. And unfortunately, the projectile didn't really go far, but direct my air dodge just in case light starts getting a little bit antsy or starts you know, throwing out some up airs. Okay, where, where are you going to throw the Hydrant? No, T actually opting to land aggressively with an arrow there. Set up the Hydrant onto the right side. Get a little bit more charge here. I feel like T's starting to see that uh, Light's making good use of the Fire Hydrant against him. That's why he's a little bit reluctant about throwing out the Fire Hydrant. He got the roll off before he got hit or the, before the rapid jab started or wow, that that was crazy and he killed him at such an early percent. T only at 71% now. Light has his work cut out for him. May have been a momentum shift right before our very eyes. Okay, but the ledge trapping continues. The Nair tries to catch him with the full hop fair, doesn't connect. But the wow, the water actually interrupting the grab, but light, not scared to throw out the downside. And see, like little stuff like that, that's how you know. That's how you know he's comfortable with the map though. <laughs> okay, another time coming up from Light as he takes a stock. You see two stocks apiece. Percent very close. And using the, the hydrant water again in his favor. Well, actually, the water pushing uh, T into the rapid jab, taking a tad bit more damage, but nothing too crazy. Oh, what's the catch here? Oh, almost catches that up air on the T, but T barely was able to squeeze to the right using his air drift. Okay, taking his time, approaching the other side of the stage while charging some fruit. I like the ledge trap set up there. All these continuous hitboxes. You see the Nair throughout the jab as well to cover him. But no backer going to connect here for T. I think it was just a little bit late. Maybe unsure about how the platform was going to affect Galga. Okay, right up and over, landing with the Nair. Yeah, and look at how many times Light has to go up and over this uh, hydrant, <laughs> right? Oh, and there it is. The great wall of Pac-Man, the great wall of T. Yep, there it is. And another bell is going to connect. No reflect on deck this time. Oh, buddy reflects the Galaga. But, man, again, he's in a situation that, you know, T around that mid percentage, and he's spawning in on his next stock. Did you see that? The yeah. water messed up the spacing on the up smash, which actually allowed T to interrupt with an air. Yeah, yeah, really good. And, I mean, how many times have we seen that hydrant get T out of so many sticky situations? Well, we call that hydrant the insurance company because oh, yeah. he continues to make that call over and over. Over. Look at that, even for his landing. Up smash, and there it is. The down air into the up smash was the MVP game four. It might be the MVP again this game number five. Well, you see another game five last dog situation. Really tell, difficult to tell who's going to be extending their lead. You see the key? <laughs> even though it got reflected, no damage done. And when the Hydrant is not down, that is going to give Light uh, a tad, a little bit of opening for the lasers. You see, all that, all that damage does add up. Tech Chase here gets the forward tilt. Okay, T setting up the shop once again, calling out the jump over the Hydrant with the back air. Okay, and the key is online, but a directional air dodge. That's going to put him in the lag, but only getting a forward air for a punish. T slowly extending this percent lead. T is swatting him out of his air approaches every single time. I know you want to jump over the Hydrant. I'm going to intercept you with the hitbox. And there's the forward smash on the rapid jab, and T is going to take it over light. Game five. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow, Going over to Team Japan and hugging him up, man. Beelined it for Team Japan because they are popping off and he's popping off with them.
He's got a lot of support here wow. at Switchfest. And even, look at that. Look at that. The, the sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah, good sportsmanship coming out. And both these players just really putting on a show. And man, T was so, he played that last talk so good. Every time Light wanted to jump.